Alright, we are live. Let's see if I can just whoop whoop. What the fox is up, guys? Uh, Fox fam, how you doing today? I am out doing my first IRL stream and we are in a snowstorm. Yay, snowstorms! Canada hype! <laughs> but what we are doing today is going the wrong way. I want to go this way. I want to go over here. Um, enable. Enable shake to toggle dark mode. No, disable. Fuck off. We're gone. Hi, what's up? We get outside world. We lie first. Ah, uh, storm was first. Sorry, gone. Love you, brother. <laughs> Much love, gone. Much love, storm. Thanks so much for being here, guys. I appreciate you. Gotta check this out. I'm just gonna hook this up in a second. I just wanted to say hi to you guys before we went to the first person. It is snowing like crazy right now, so that's fun. Always great. But we're going to do some survival gear shopping. Gonna go over to. Uh, there's some stuff I want to just take a look at at Canadian Tire first. Um, which is just over here and then I want to go over to the uh, the dollar store for the actual dollar store challenge and go take a look at what we can get for twenty dollars at the dollar store that'll help us survive um, out in the wilderness basically it's the uh, twenty dollars survival challenge now a lot of uh, channels that I see doing this um, they basically just go do the shopping and that's it but we're gonna do the shopping on stream and then we're gonna do a separate stream for the actual survival challenge where we'll actually use the items um, but as you can see not exactly the perfect conditions right now to do something crazy like that so um, let's jump over to first person there we go and now you guys can see there's my wacky little arm set up so I can see chat <laughs> and then let's hook up this to there make sure you guys can see and we good we good let me know if everything is looking good. Folks, be not in win. Oh, dude, we gotta watch it for sure. Once you get the bigger streamer, stop showing off where you live. Oh, whatever. Not too concerned, bro. Not too concerned. Always, oh, Madam Blue, what's up? How you doing? Much love, Madam Blue. Thanks so much for joining us. We're just headed over to the Canadian Tire. Check out what's going on. Guys, let me know if the sound is off, if anything is off with the stream. Let me know. So, we are going to head over to... Everything looking fine. Nice. Love it. How about sound? Sound is good? People probably think you're crazy talking to yourself. No, they can probably see me talking to my phone. suit. <laughs> it's my money. Um, is this where we start with the survival gear? I don't think so. Cut off. Oh wait, are we no good? Why tire store? Oh, it's just called Canadian Tire. It's, it's all survival gear. There's, uh, it's, it's all sorts of stuff. Housewares. You know what for me? I know each other me. Are you ready to do uh, The mango also. Might get some bad reception. I don't need it, but it's not a bad little set. No good now. Raven Cam, what's up Cam? How you doing brother? How's the day going? Whoop. Whoop. I think you guys just ducked into the aisle there a little bit. I just want to make sure you guys have a good view. Everything looks good. No problem. Um, I already have a backpack. This is the backpack I was looking at. The woods. I don't know if you, guys, you guys can see that? Yeah. This was the backpack I was looking at. Green. End up with a red one. I don't think they have it here anymore. They don't. They don't. I already Low, but no, you guys can see. Yeah, you guys are good. You guys are good. Um, I got sound drops every now and then. Oh, bring me some stuff, some flu tablets, some cough syrup while you're there. Make that two doses for me and Cam. Oh, everybody's sick. Everybody's sick. Oh, and my notifications work. Look at that. I don't know what it was. Hold on. I can look at activity feed. Whoa. Oh, these are auto hosts. Or was this J Jay Bettingfield just host? I have no clue. It's not telling me what the notification was, so. I have no clue what just happened there. Hope you feel better soon. Cat, was that you checking things? Bad reception. Oh, no. Didn't get enough views on the clips. In February, ripped the clipper badge. Oh, no. Oh, there's another one. Again, I have no clue what these are. Why, why are you doing this? 
Oh, okay. Raven Cat. Oh, okay, so here we go. Here we go. Raven Cam host. Click Happy Cat hosting. Thank you so much, guys, for the hosts. Um, yeah, okay. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just... I'm reading in the wrong order. Gotta get used to this. No, those were legit notifications. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was just reading the recent activities wrong. So I'm not used to this uh, app here, so... Um, let's just get out of here, because we're not getting good reception anyways. And I'm hot AF in here. Somebody's got the heating on too high. Oh, yeah, she was. Yeah, probably. Most people are on there. Like, what the fuck? Everybody's gonna be like, what the fuck? Nobody's used to seeing this kind of stuff. <sighs> Nobody's used to seeing this kind of stuff. I was gonna look at like sleeping bags and stuff like that, but I decided, whatever. I'm not that interested right now. I'd rather go do the dollar store thing. Plus, that store's big, like, that store gets worse reception, so I feel like the stream's gonna suffer because it was in there. Plus, it's a winter wonderland right now, so why aren't we outside? But I'm dying to love public streams. <laughs> Welcome to IRL, you'll get used to the weird looks. Oh, whatever. I don't really care. Is it better, like, I don't know how it was in the store. You guys said it was having some sound problems and whatnot in the store. So, we're back outside in the winter wonderland that is Canada. But, make a snowman. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? Whoa, the weather. What, look at me just walk across the street without even looking. Look at that. I did not even look there. Yeah, the weather's a bitch. Oh, it's crazy day. It's crazy. I wasn't expecting it to snow like this today, so this is just an extra little treat. Sound and some buffering issues. I mean, it's going to happen when I'm on the move. For me, it seems okay. It's is it going in and out, or is it like does it fix itself? Like, what's the sitcho? It's okay. We're, I mean, we're gonna have it. Every IRL streamer has that problem. Hydrogen a core. <laughs> Let's get GTA up in here. Yeah, I'm going. That's where I'm headed now. I just I didn't want to be in that Canadian tire anymore. <clears throat> I'm just gonna look at some sleeping bags and stuff, but that's kind of boring. So. I'm glad it stopped snowing where I am. Been chilly this with sun. Uh, I like that. I like the like days like this. It's not cold out. Like I'm not even wearing gloves. I don't know if you guys can. Is that showing up on camera? I don't know. I don't know my views yet. I'm still getting used to this. But yeah, I'm not even wearing gloves. It's not even that cold out. Whoop. DW, much love for the host. Cold drop. Thank you so much for the host, dude. Appreciate you both. Thank you so much. Much love to ya. DW, what's up? I'm a DW. We had a skunk spray someone last. Oh, wow. Dog got skunked. They smelled it around minute. Wow, that sucks, dude. He's getting sprayed by a skunk. Not fun. My dog got sprayed by a skunk once. It was not a good time. Those North American traffic lights. You see in all the movies. What up, boss? What up, Yashi? What's going on, brother? How are you doing? How's moving and such? Call drop? Yeah. Got a host from Call Drop there. It says in my activity feed. Where is he? And I haven't seen Cold Drop in forever. It's been a while. It's been a while. But he just hosted. I don't think he like popped in. I'm not sure if he was actually here or just kind of dropped a host. What's wrong with the traffic lights? Oh, he's just talking about how he sees them in all the movies. And they probably look different than they do there. I don't know. Are traffic lights different in different countries? I thought like traffic lights are traffic lights, I thought. Look at this. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Dick. We didn't need to cross the road or nothing. Asshole. Jesus Christ, people are ignorant. Well, they're at best. Sucks that dude awesome. <laughs> okay. I don't know, can you guys see the Dollarama coming up? I can't really see the angle because it's got a, it's auto brightness for me so I don't waste batteries. So, they're cool and yellow. <laughs> I'm good, man. Me and the girl have been sorting my visa this morning. So now I'm just chilling and thought I'd say hi. Nice. Love it. You're she. Thanks a lot, brother. Hope you're having a good day. Jesus. 
Is it weird that like this kind of weather makes me want to go camping? Like, is it weird that I want to grab my tent, buy a sleeping bag, and go camping tonight? I feel like that's weird. I, I feel like a weirdo saying that, but this weather makes me want to. It's true. Grab a sleeping bag. This survival kit from the dollar store that's going to be pretty janky. Let's, let's be honest. This is going to be pretty janky. Yeah, a little weird. <laughs> most traffic lights are black. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm, I'm so used to yellow traffic lights. I didn't know most of them were black. It is weirdo. What's up, Reb? How you doing, brother? Catching the IRL stream. And since there's no Fs in the chat, I assume it's going pretty well. So, but Rev, what do you got going on today, brother? So glad you could join us. All right, dollar store hype. Here we go. Let's get a cart for items. Okay, so for those of you that don't know about this challenge, don't know what this is all about, uh, basically we have $20, not including taxes, so $20 straight up um, to spend at the dollar store to build a little like survival kit, basically. Um, I should put together like a list of things that would be good to have, but I guess it's more fun to do it this way. Hold on, I just need to adjust this phone strap thing. There we go, that's better. There we go, that's better. It's weird quest, survival. Exactly what Cam said. But they light up. Why do you need help to see them? <laughs> it's true, it's true. He makes valid points. You're weird, I am weird, I know that. I know that, okay, so. First thing you know what you're gonna need. I don't think we're gonna find, I'm gonna unzip my jacket. Cause it is hot AF in here. People have their heat on way too high. Like it's not cold out, it's just snowing. Um, knife, knife first. So okay, I don't think we're gonna find anything right here. But yeah, basically we're trying to spend $20 and put together a survival kit that we would then eventually get a live stream. I gotta get the proper modems. I don't have the proper modems yet. I'm just running off my basic cell phone data because it resets in a couple of days and I've got like three gigabytes left. So I figured this is a good time to test this out. We got knives galore. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's actually like, I don't know, can you guys see that? Let me make sure you guys can see this. Woo. That puppy. Where is it? There we go. That puppy. It's full tank too. You want to make sure that you have full tank because you don't want to be like chopping wood or bucking up firewood or anything like that and then have the blade snap and end up in your chest or your leg or something like that. So that's full tank. That's actually not bad. Like in all honesty, as far as like it's also four dollars though, so we gotta take that into account because that's four dollars right off the top. But that's like a good that'll be good for chopping all sorts of stuff. Like you could do a lot with that knife. A lot with that knife, you know what I mean? Rev, oh why didn't I get an overcation? But Rev, much love to you, brother. I appreciate you dropping that resub. Didn't you just resub the other day? This is that shit's crazy. But much love, Rev. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Who are you gun? <laughs> I'm shaving yellow traffic lights. <laughs> 14 months, nice, that's what's up. I could swear Rev just dropped a resub just last week. Like, how are you already due for a resub? Um, ooh, this is $3. Ooh, it's a rainbow knife. What is, what's this? Is this actual metal? You guys seeing this shit? You see that? That's, look at that, look at that rainbow knife. Let me move this cart so I'm not standing right in the middle of the aisle. You did, folks. Um, thinks we may need a new notification sound. Possibly. Possibly, because I did not get anything this side. Look at that rainbow knife, though. And it is full tang, too. It's a full tang rainbow steel blade. Designed from Japan origin. Combines both combines the features of both chef knife and cleaver. For chop, dicing, slicing, and more. Stainless steel blade. Ooh. And it's a rainbow, I mean. Right? You can cut and represent the gay community. That was extremely offensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Our melon just shit. What? Sure did. Heard and saw. The knife is legit. The knife is pretty, right? Right? I might just get this for the house. <laughs> might just get that for the house. But I mean, that's more so... If I'm going to chop wood and stuff like that. That's probably the, the thing to go with. We're going to put them both in the cart for now. One's three, one's four. So it's a difference of a dollar. But that can make all the difference later on in our little expenditure here. Um, anything else here I need? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I think that's it's gonna be between those two knives. It's gonna be between those two knives, gang. You dub. <laughs> It's pretty. Uh, is that what you'll use to carve open a beer, a bear, and sleep in it? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Exactly what I'll use. The rainbow knife to cut open a bear so I can sleep inside of it. <laughs> well, here's a wooden mortar and pestle. Not that I need that for survival in any way, shape, or form. It's still nice. It's wooden. It's probably completely useless since it's wooden. Has anybody ever used a wooden pest mortar and pestle? Your dollar store is borked. <laughs> that was offensive. Good. Good. I'm glad it wasn't offensive then. Um, what do we got here? What else do we have? Is there anything else here that I need? I just thinking, what do you need for a survival kit? Oh, we're going to need some gloves. Not rubber gloves, but like actual gloves, I guess. Maybe. I guess I could just wear my gloves. It's, that's another question with survival challenges. What can you, I guess you can wear the clothes on your back. We should get tarps too. Tarps for sure. Um, you know, it's just boring. <laughs> I'm hype. Everything's supposed to be a dollar. Oh, I know. True, true. Yeah, it used to be. Yeah, our dollar store now goes up to four dollars. Matches rope. Truth, truth, truth. Matches and rope. You are one hundred percent correct. Um, matches rope, tarp, toilet paper. We need TP while we're out there. <laughs> it's a mortar and pestle for curry. I mean, I have a mortar and pestle, but it's stone. I don't have a wood one. Like that's what I'm wondering. Like, is a wood one better? Is a wood one better or worse? So I would think a wood mortar and pestle would not be good. I'm just looking because I don't know. You never know what you're going to pop into and find that might come in handy. Oh, paracord. Yeah. You get them leaves, boy? <laughs> I use mine for crystal meth. Yeah, that's the best way. To, that's the best thing to use it for. Best thing to use it for. Need to soft TP. <laughs> Lighter versus matches? Be a real man. Lighter. <laughs> well, I actually, at home, I have a fire starter, so I might just use my fire steel. Um, the fire steel is pretty legit, actually. Three-ply for the win. It was three-ply, indeed. Um, you need anything in this aisle? Um, I don't think tablecloths count as tarp. I feel like that'll tear really easily. Should probably just try and find out if they have tarp. I'm pretty sure they do have tarp though. Just a matter of finding it. Oh, blankets. Ooh. Oh, that could actually help. Four dollars though, Jesus. But yeah, our dollar store used to have like, it used to be everything was a dollar. When they first opened Dollaramas, everything was a dollar. And then at some point in time, they decided that that wasn't good enough and they changed it to something else. They changed it and it went from $1 items to $1 to $2 items to $1 to $3 items and now we're all the way up to $4. I feel like a blanket would be useful in a survival challenge. Oh, it's microfiber. Ultra soft. 50 by 60 inch. It's not bad, actually. But $4. Yeah, no, I, don't, I didn't think they were either. We used to have one. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense. I'm going to throw this blanket in there for now because, you know, having a blanket, that'll be useful. That'll be useful. Oh, look, a cooling pillow. That's exactly what I need is a cooling pillow. Are you going to run out of money real quick? Oh, yeah, dude, dude, definitely. You know, I, I, this is, I'm just kind of throwing stuff in there right now, um, and then I'll, I'll make final decisions before I end, but we do need something... Like to cook in per se. Um, yeah, we need something metal though. Like, is this is this metal or is this gonna have like a bunch of insulation? Because as soon as I put it in the fire, it's gonna fucking melt everything. Double wall vacuum insulation. I mean, that looks like it's just gonna be metal, but I guarantee. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Can you guys, oh, you guys can't see that. There you go. Whoa. Wish I could zoom out on this camera. Wish I could zoom out on that camera, but yeah. So that's what we're looking at right now. You can legally put the word ultra soft on everything. Doesn't mean much. <laughs> okay, I mean with a rainbow knife and a blanket. Exactly. 
That's what we're thinking about doing. Flutter's pillow. Fucking buffering. No. God damn buffering. I don't know if that's metal all the way through or not. Because if that's got... Oh, we're at $4 on that as well. We need something cheaper to cook in. We need something cheaper for that. We may go back around to the kitchen side. Glass. You don't want to do that. Definitely don't want to do glass. If you guys see something, shout it out. <laughs> Looks metal. It does. And it sounds metal too. Oh, I can't see. Pug Jab, who's back? I can't see that name. It's like disappeared. Oh, what's up, Jay? Yaheim, what up, dude? Thank you so much for saying the name because I can't see it on the screen. <laughs> what's up, Yaheim? How you doing, brother? How you doing? What's up? Yeah, I don't see anything. I think we're going to need something. We need something that we know is metal through and through and that we can put in a fire. Ooh, it's going to be one of these bowls. It's going to be one of these bowls, fam. I don't like that. Can you guys see that? But, like, if we're talking about having something that, like, I can put in the fire. Like, it's deep enough, I guess. Like, it's a mixing bowl, but, I mean, it's stainless steel, so it'll go right in a fire. And it'll heat up whatever's in there, like water or food of some kind. How much is that? Two fifty. Jesus Christ, it's just so expensive here. I got a knife. I can carve a... I can carve utensils. Okay, so now we're going to double back around. So I don't think there's anything else yet. There's nothing else here. Uh, though we might come back. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Show up. Yeah, what we're doing is survival challenge. Doing the $20 survival challenge where we got $20 to spend without taxes to put together a little survival kit and then go take it out in the woods and use it. So first step is to actually grab the survival kit. Uh, I don't like that I can't see your heavy beard. It's upsetting. <laughs> Cook on a spoon like a meathead. <laughs> oh, like a meth head, sorry. Meth head, right. The revolted. You should definitely get a sponge. Carve utensils, damn. I mean, it's not that hard to take a stick and carve some utensils. Carve a spoon, knife, fork thing. I don't really need the knife, the spoon, fork thing. Oh, you know what? Maybe candles. Whoop. Maybe candles. That might be the way to go, like. A dollar twenty-five for those. Those will go for a while, but I don't know if I need them. Let's throw them in there for now. We can always go through everything and figure it out from there. Spork <laughs> or spife? That's right. Rope. Right. Um, are you using streaming as an excuse to go to the dollar store, folks? No, I'm not. I mean, I could be streaming Minecraft right now. You want know those knives? Then they won't last long enough without going dull. No, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I gotta, I gotta use the knife to buck up wood anyway, so... And if you don't know what buck up wood means, it means break it down into firewood. And like kindling and stuff. Oh, we need candy, Eric! What's up, brother? How you doing today? Much love to you, brother. Thanks so much for joining us. Um... You gotta use the knife to make a fork out of a tree. Exactly! That's, no, you're, you're capping, but that's what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna use the knife to make a fork out of a stick from a tree. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't think I need art supplies. I feel like art supplies aren't going to help me. There's like incense. Should I bring incense out into the woods? Should I spend money on incense for the woods? I feel like I could be like, we're, we're first personing this. I could actually be like, whoop. I could just switch it over to this for a little bit. Do a little bit of a, uh, hey, how's it going, guys? Lighter. Right. Just spend all the budget on candy. Fuck the rest. <laughs> just go out there with candy. Get him ours. <laughs> MREs, get them arm MREs. Insta foods. Ooh. I don't know why I don't know why, but I like I saw this watering bucket and I was like, oh I could cook in that. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> That's not good at all. Fox <laughs> I'm I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I don't think there's rope. Like I think the next aisle, like we're gonna, the next aisle is where we're gonna see a lot of the stuff that we wanna get. Like, no joke. Oh, look, 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 look. We could buy little trees to take out to the woods with us. Little fake trees to join us in the woods. Fake trees for the woods. That'd be pretty hype. I would actually, I'd love to take some MREs and test out MREs like in the field. Because most of the MRE uh, things that I see on like YouTube and whatnot, 
most of the time those MREs, they just cook them in their house. And it's like, well, that's not what it's meant to be done. Like you're meant to be trying to do that out in the like wilderness in the survival situation. So it seems just weird to just kind of do it in your kitchen and not take it out into the wilderness. But I guess either way, if you're just reviewing how good it tastes, it's not that important, I guess. To do it out of the woods, but I'd like to take, like, get some MREs and take them. No, the, this aisle is going to be cleaning stuff. It's going to be like personal health stuff. Taproot, what's up, brother? How you doing? Boil a gun. What are you going to do for your drink water? Drinkable water. Boil it, exactly. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's a foxy face. That's right. Well, people are complaining about not seeing the beard, so. <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to need any. Uh, should we take bath bombs out into the woods? Everybody needs a bath bomb, right? I feel like, oh no, I guess we got tons of snow out there. Should we get a crazy carpet? Get a crazy carpet for the for the non-existent hills where I live. Oh, here's this. This is the hype right here. This is what we should be getting. This is, this is what every survival kit should have. Fake snowballs. They even feel kind of like the real thing. Look at that. Oh, they feel kind of like a snowball. Feels kind of like I'm packing snow right now. Fake snowballs. That's why. Up. We need those for survival. I'm just gonna put this on this other. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it down there because I can't get it back on the hook, and I don't have the patience to uh, deal with it. Uh, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I want to test different things with this while I'm going as well. Wonder. Oh, that does work. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Now I'm hands free. Um, that's kind of. I, I kind of like that. Not gonna lie. We get baby wipes? Oh yeah, to wipe. You gotta wipe your butt with baby wipes. There it is, Yahan. Seven months, dude. That's hype. If that was long enough, it'd be good for under your sleeping bag. That's true. That's true. You gonna uh, you gonna take those cannibals and your bong out? To survive? No, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Tell me I'm good. Finalizing up some stuff for rebranding. Finish up a few other parts. Nice, dude. Dang, you should get one of those sweet visors, visors bro. <laughs> right? Which ones? <laughs> Those ones back there, the sweet visors. Which one? Which one? Which one do you think? Like, was there visors here? I don't think there's. There's no visors. They're just like. See, I could do this. I could rock this. Just like that. What's up, guys? We're going to survival. We're going to survive. Probably not going to pull it off. Oh, oh, oh! Wait. Oh, where's retro when you need him? Because this hat matches his hat. Retro has a hat like this. I could match Retro. Look at that. Derp! Them Crocs though, right? You gotta have Crocs too. Like it's all it's all about that. It's all about that. I can't I can't wear this hat anymore. It's like already bothering me. <laughs> so the fact yeah, the matter is I couldn't wear it out at all. Um are you talking about like these crocs? Those crocs are the hype right there. Like look at those. Look at those rip-off crocs. Oh, there's, there's, these are the no, these aren't the real thing. They're all rip-off Crocs. <laughs> oh, gloves. Oh, gloves with touch. I actually legitimately need these. I might actually just like grab these for myself for right now, not part of the challenge thing. That might be the hype right there. I might grab those for myself right now. Touch screen gloves. There it is. <laughs> What's that purple thing? What purple thing? What purple thing? Now I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are seeing. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Um, you'd make a great cowboy. Confirmed. <laughs> There's a man going to survive. That's right. With the beating under it as well. Oh, you gotta keep. You gotta stay warm. Rocks are so comfy. Yeah, they look ridiculous. Um, I feel like there's none of this stuff. Like we don't need we don't need this kind of stuff, right? We're, we're, it'll only be a 24-hour survival challenge, so I don't think we need like toothbrushes and stuff. Band-aids. We might want to bring band-aids, right? What if I hurt myself? It was near the hats, above the mirror, looked like a visor. Oh, above the hats, near the mirror. Above the hats, near the oh. What is that? It is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that is 100% a visor. Look at that. 
That's a hype visor. Hold on. Let me get this thing on. <laughs> over, over the beanie, too. You got to go over the beanie with these things. Whoop, whoop. Love that I can just, like, clip that on like that, and then, boom. Look at that. Oh, it's one size fits all. Look at that. It goes straight visor. Look at me. Oh, yeah, I'm pimping right now. I'm pimping him. Pimping fam. Pimping fam. So glad I saw that. <laughs> I'm pimping now, fam. I'm all about the pimping. Um, back. Do you like that I'm continuing to wear it? Um, there's not, like, literally nothing left in this aisle. Literally nothing left in this aisle for me to get. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, we done here. We done here. There we go. Sneak off here. In the next aisle. This, this, yes, this is the aisle that we've been waiting for. This is the aisle we've been waiting for, fam. <laughs> oh my god, for real? Dripping. <laughs> oh my lord, he's taking it. I'm not. I'm not taking it. I'm just wearing it. I'm rocking it. Like, I'm pulling this thing off. Fuck all you guys. I'm pulling that off hardcore. I'm looking good right now. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Return <laughs> in the streams. I don't think I'm actually going to buy it. I don't think I'm actually going to buy it. But, uh, see, this is where we got some additional stuff. Oh, look at these fire starter sticks. That would probably be useful. But I have stuff like that already. I don't want to buy extra stuff that I don't need. A compass? We use a compass. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need a mosquito net this time of year. I'm rocking it. Mm, sure you are. <laughs> Candies. I mean, you can see that I'm rocking it, dude. I'm rocking it. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This looks. Yeah, I'm a pimp right now. <laughs> Enough with that. Enough with that. There we go. Um, yeah, you camping stuff hype. Need one of those mini fans. You won't survive otherwise, right? I didn't, no, are you talking about like one of these? One of these mini fans are you talking about? One of those? I need like. Ha 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 ha. There, oh, actually, ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's actually pretty nice. Oh. Oh, there we go. Whew. Cooling off. They're cooling off. There we go. We definitely, I mean, we could probably get one of those fans. It'd be pretty, it's going to be pretty tough without it, but I think I'll be able to pull it off. <laughs> then we got, I don't, it's like, I don't, I just don't see anything here that we actually need. Magnesium fire starters. I highly recommend fire steel over magnesium fire starter, but whatever you can get. Pop up lanterns. Dry bags. Ooh. These are, that's actually pretty nice as far as a, like I have, oh God, I have paracord, you can't even see both of them because of my sleeve, I'll, I'll show them off later on maybe a little bit more, but I have paracord bracelets already, but they don't have a nice, like a built-in compass like that, I don't even know what this sharp blade thing is, but I'm sure it does something like cut me if I play around with it too much. Where are we going to need food? Maybe that's what... <laughs> rope! I, I still haven't even seen any, like, real, like, legitimate rope. Ooh, a camping shovel, actually. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, fam. That's actually pretty legit. Like, look at how small that is. And it turns into a camping shovel. Like, that's not bad. Let's throw that in there. That might actually come in handy. Not gonna lie. That, uh, that might actually be useful. That's what's up. Mm, food, need any lights? Oh, I need a headlight. I need a headlamp. That's what I need. Oh. I mean, I don't really, like, I don't need this. Oh, excuse me. I don't need this right now, but I could use that later. Oh, I might get these. I just need something to connect my uh, sleeping bag to my backpack. So I will probably need something like that eventually. Phone flashlight? That's true, too. What mat for under my sleeping bag? What, did, what mat did you see for underneath my sleeping bag? You're seeing things that I'm not seeing. Oh. Oh, yeah. I should probably grab that when I'm actually thinking about camping. Truth. 
truth. That's actually not bad. Good spot. Oh, hey, look at that. There's the rope we were looking for. 15 meters. We'll throw it in there, because you never know. The gray one. Yeah, this this one right here. Yeah, that's actually that's actually a pretty good spot there. I didn't see that. It's actually a pretty good spot, but I'm, I'm not... We'll, we'll get it eventually. We'll get it eventually. What is that? Oh, it's an extendable camping fork. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. Can't make it all the coals. Rope. We got the rope, finally. Finally got the rope. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else there. Anything on this side? No, this is all gardening. This is all gardening. Oh, you know what? I actually do... I'm not, not going to get a rainbow one. Probably get like a green one. Like something like this. Just for like sitting on and kneeling on and stuff like that. Just so my knees aren't in the dirt kind of thing all the time. I do need to get one of those, but not right now. Not right now. Just need it for eventually. When I'm doing like actual camping and whatnot. But for now, we're just... We got to kind of... got to pack light. Pack light. We still need to get tarps too. And we still need to do like a count on how much... what, what the, What's going on with the budget. I'm actually surprised there was no tarps right there. I would have thought that's where the tarps would be, in all honesty. Ooh. Really? You know, dollar store is kind of hype, because, like, look at that. Like, if you did that to saw, that'll cut down a tree. That'll cut down a goddamn tree. Like, that's not bad, actually. When you, when you really think about it. Like, $4 for a handsaw is a pretty good deal. Glitch, what's up? How you doing, giggity? <laughs> Say hi, tarp. No, yeah, tarp. I, I need tarp for the shelter itself. So I can make a tarp tent. If you like under... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, do they have hatchets? Oh, that'd be pretty cool if they had hatchets. Guns underage, so that makes sense. Truth, truth. Okay, that would be fucking hype if they had hatchets. The saw is good enough. In, re in all reality, you take a, a knife and a saw and you're pretty, pretty good. You probably get away with not having a hatchet in general. But if they had a hatchet, that would be hype. More knives and barbecue stuff. Definitely don't need an oven mitts while I'm out there. That's kind of cool. Well, that's kind of cool. That's like... It's like barbecue on the go. That'd be like perfect for out at the campfire and whatnot, but I don't need to worry about that right now. That That's luxury items. Luxury items, and we don't have time for luxury or space for luxury items at all. Uh, if no tarp, maybe shower curtain might work. Great call. Ice cube tray, definitely. <laughs> definitely need to get that ice cream tray. Oh, here's another thing. Like, I guess I could put that down underneath my, like, it's like a bamboo. Matt, I could put that down underneath my... But the, the foam pad would be better. Cat's right. Probably just going to go with the foam pad eventually. Um, yeah, but we do have, like, these tablecloths and stuff. And there were shower curtains as well. I'm just not sure what to go with. But, like, I know they have tarps here somewhere. I just don't know where they, what aisle they put them in. They're always changing stuff. They're always moving stuff around. So text to speech is off. How's the budget looking? Um, actually pretty good, all things considered. All things considered, like, we're not going to have a lot of stuff, but we'll have the stuff that we need, you know what I mean? I just, what I really want to find is a tarp at this point. I want to know where they've got the tarps hidden at. Look at that. Like, they might have a hatchet here someday, someday sometime. Not today, but, like, they have full-size friggin' shovels. No hatchet, though. The saw, they got shovels. That's it. I think the next aisle is toys. Oh, no. Never mind. This is the aisle with the tarps. Look at that. Boom. Turn the corner. Tarps. Actually, those are all decent tarps. Duramax. Foot by eight foot. That's actually decent, to be honest with you. What's this one? Four by six. Six by eight, the biggest one they have. I mean, still, six by eight is a decent, decent tarp. Woot! Because I'll have to test it. Hi, back. What you eating? Mmm, foods. 
Oh no, there's a lovely tarp right there. Right? That's a good tarp. That's a good quality tarp right there. Six by eight. I think that's good. I think we're good there. Oh, they have they even have like a fabric swatch. Like a fabric swatch there. So I can see what it's like. No, that's that's pretty much that's the best we're gonna get here. That's the best we're gonna get here. Oh, look at all the tools. Oh, we might find a hatchet here. If they have a hatchet, it'll probably be here somewhere. I doubt that they have a hatchet, but if they do have a hatchet, it'll be here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Exacto blade! Exacto blades, guys! We can hijack a plane. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at that fucking knife. It looks like a little sword, more so than a knife. Uh, I'm not going to be filleting any fishes, though, so I don't need that kind of knife. Um, that knife's not going to be good for bucking up wood. I think they have gloves. I'm thinking maybe... No, that's something else I'll need for later. Something else will be for later. I'm not going to use that for... Well, that's why they have the tarps here, because this is all the painting stuff. All the painting stuff. Dude, share the wealth. Oh, something smells delicious. Now, that's a knife. Does look like a sword, right? Get the extender arm grabber. I, I, I feel like I'm not going to need that. Multi-use net, maybe? Oh, God. Oh, I can smell that good stuff. Ooh, how many meters of rope is that? No, we have 15 meters as it is. There's a lot of rope here. A lot of rope to choose from. Get extended. <laughs> he looked back. He thought you were talking to him. <laughs> Is that foil cover? What would be good for your campfire? What's that foil cover? What foil cover? Oh. No, no, no. That that'd melt in seconds. That'll melt in seconds. That's plastic. That is plastic. Oh, there we go. There's what I was looking for. These things. Hey! Something so I can see. Some kind of light source. I feel like the headlamp's the way to go. Because then if it's dark, I can put that on my head. I am still hands-free. As opposed to having to hold a flashlight. Like, they have these little flashlights down here, too. It's so like, you know, uh, they're not, they don't have no batteries. But, like, that's not bad. But, I mean, you have to hold it. That's the problem. The headlamp is hands-free, plus it look ridiculous. Damn it. Oh, it didn't look plastic. They got some plans in that? <laughs> Four bucks, Mr. Expensive? I mean, everything is so expensive here. Nothing's a dollar anymore. It used to be the dollar store, now it's not. Dust lamps. Ooh, a tower fan. Look at this little mini tower fan. Keep you cool on a hot day. We definitely don't need to worry about that. And we're all light bulbs. Oh, should I get a neck pillow? Some comfort out there? A neck pillow? Um, hold on, I gotta get... Get back to that angle so that I can fix this armband. This armband keeps sliding down and getting loose. Something I'll have to fix. Sky, what's up, dude? Much love to you. Hold it with your teeth. <laughs> Stick it to your beard. The beard might work. The beard might work. I don't know if my teeth can handle it. <laughs> hey, DW, everybody showing that love. Miss Dermic Nasty, what's up, dude? How you doing? Actually, I just realized, like, I can just turn that like this. <laughs> I think we're pretty much at the, uh, we're at, like, the end of this right now. Are you dropping in? What's up? Um, now we're just in the toy section, basically. Whoa! Can you not, please, phone? Does that work like that? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We're still working. We're still working. Oh, Cam! Cam, I don't know if you're still here. I hope you're still here. So I just found I got a birthday present for sure for Cam. It's definitely a birth. Look at this. Look at this. Mini DJ. Oops. Toys aren't stuck properly. There we go. Look at that. Mini DJ. Look at that. Cam. Oh, look. They got a green one. Look at that. They got a green one. Oh, look at that myself. Are people looking at you like you're crazy yet? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to out, bro. Uh, really enjoyed it, dude. Can't wait to see you out there. Nice, dude. Take care. Have a good rest of the day. We're going to move on, but that's 
That's Cam's uh, birthday present for sure. He'll be rocking that all day. Oh, Paper Minecraft. I almost feel like buying that just for Paper Minecraft. And Steve with the bed. Look at that, Minecraft toys. Oh my god, is this perfect? Oh shit, was that a bear gun? Oh yeah, it was a bear gun. Look, see? It's, uh, it's all the animals. Oh, it's set to wolf. Hold on. Let's set it to bear. I set it to bear, but it's not working. There it goes, bear. We got cougar too, look at this. Let's see, cougar. I feel like that could be any cat. I really feel like that could be any hat. Little enough, right? It's the type of gun you need in the wilderness. What do we got going on here? Yeah, I think this is just like the art supplies and toys. Anybody want to go to bingo? Bingo, anybody? Definitely the busiest aisle we've been in. Actively really useful to scare off dangerous animals. Could be, could be. Thanks to the gun. <laughs> Now you can just use those those animal calls and get her done. Oh, look at this. It's the unofficial guide. Independent and unofficial guide, Mine World Minecraft Building Handbooks. Look at that. Look at that. You get four bucks. Four bucks. Epic builds, fun builds, challenge builds, Minecraft quiz. Can't lie, someone, there's a part of me that wants to buy that. Can't lie. Oh, when we're gonna try and get through here. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Uh, this made um, by Einstein to survive his trip to, to the woods where he discovered the Pyramid's theorem. Uh, just some interesting trivia. I would buy that, lol. <laughs> so Canadian, I would buy it as well. Just gonna squeeze by you there. <laughs> just let me, let me squeeze through here. Sorry, excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, we should get a reflective vest. We'd be safe. Oh, what? Is this a jacket? What the hell is this? What I found here. Oh, it is. It's a vest. What is this? What is this vest for? Trying to find out what the vest is for. Wind and cold protection. Oh, it's, it's like an actual... Oh, it's a workout vest. Workout apparel. Everybody needs to be wearing a vest when they're working out. Let's overstock this so everything falls when somebody's trying to look at stuff. What's this, actually? Stay cool, keep ventilated. Oh, is that like a, a cover up my face? So, see, that's... That, that camo? If I ever become a trap, that's what I that's what I wear. I do, I do the camo face mask. Camel face mask for sure if I ever become a trap. <laughs> if you only had a uh, bank enough to have fuck you money to buy that lot. Right, exactly. Weighted vest? No, it's just a regular vest. Just a regular vest. Just saying, uh, put up TTS to highest volume and we'll have donos rolling in, lol. <laughs> then my lady hit my heel with a shopping cart and I turned around and apologized. <laughs> so true. So true. I've, been, I've definitely been there. Where somebody else bumps you and then you apologize to them. And it's like, why did I just apologize to that person? I feel like they should have apologized to me since they ran into me. <laughs> um, let's just double check this back wall. It's just because, you know, we could probably use the bow and arrows to hunt, right? Get some hunting done while we're out there with the pink bows and arrows. Oh, no, wait, there you go. There's orange. Orange and blue. I feel like that's more foxy. Dartboard? Have some fun out there? Oh, no, that bow, green and purple. That bow's the hype right there. Darts. Keep it keep it keep it interesting. Oh, play some hockey. You gotta can't have Canada without a hockey stick, right? You gotta take a hockey stick out into the woods. Dog food? I feel like this wall is not gonna give me anything I need. Whoop! I think we're down to the last last of it. So we got I'm gonna do I'm doing a final count here, but Oh, you know what we should probably do? Is have something to eat while we're out there, right? 
Um, yeah, definitely another thing here. Oh, there are so many dollar ramas, wouldn't be a big deal. But you need a dress, not that. Well, yeah, but then you need to cover up your face. Come on now. <laughs> I think he means a literal trap, like a pitfall or snare. No, 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 no. I was talking about a trap. I was talking about an anime trap. Yeah, the ones that wear the masks. <laughs> I was to, oh, you guys all know what I'm talking about. You've seen it on TikTok. They wear the mask that covers up half the face. They're really traps. I think Fox knows what traps are. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I was, I was definitely talking about. I, I like. What Storm would think if I said trap. And gone. God, I'm sure knows what a trap is. I'm 100% sure of that. But yeah. They do that face mask thing. You guys all know what I'm talking about. Everybody's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Let's try and adjust this so I can see it better. There we go. You don't shave the beard? No, that's why you have the face mask, dude. You cover that all up. Then you put a wig on, and you're good to go. Should we get chips? Chips. I feel like I should have something for like eating. Cause like, what am I like? I gotta eat, right? Bread's not an option. How good do you think that is? How many of you would actually eat that canned chicken? You get the canned ham as well. That does not look the luncheon meat. Mmm. Some smoked oysters, anyone from the dollar store? Dollar twenty-five smoked oysters, guys, or smoked mussels, whichever you prefer. Which one would you guys prefer? What is this? Comes with the key. Comes with the key to get in. Mmm, corned beef. That's what's up. Oh, Paris pate, deviled ham pate. Mmm, yum yum yum. A uh, mask to cover up half the face? I don't know what the fuck you're dug <laughs> you're on about with a face mask. Mask, makeup, same shit, piled it, different pile. Candy, beans! Canned chicken, what about the mussels? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I get the lunch you meat any day. <laughs> you just grab that, fry that up, fry that up, throw it on a piece of bread, you're good to go. A little mustard. I feel like beans are the actual, like, go-to choice. That's a dollar. And that would be my, like, meal for 24 hours. How many calories would that be? That's like that's 140 calories per 125 milliliters, and there's 400 milliliters in here. So I mean, yeah, you're getting you're getting plenty of calories. The survival food of choice. I cook it in my bowl. I can cook it right in my bowl. Hey, spam yuck! Look at ingredients. <laughs> the, the ingredients of the the luncheon meat. Okay, let's see what it is. Mechanically separated chicken. Chicken, pork, water, wheat flour, salt, potato starch, sugar, monosodium glutamate, sodium erythrobate, sodium intrite, spice, smoke. I feel like if you open this up, some smoke should come out. Contains wheat. Even if I could eat meat, I could not eat that. There we go, a dollar. A dollar gets, gets food out of the way. I eat breakfast and that's plenty. Like that's like five, six hundred calories. Must you hype? Smells good with potatoes fried up. It's true. If you do it, like if you do it right, there's I mean anything can taste good if you make it right, if you cook it right. That might be the next IRL stream is we'll go out and we'll go grocery shopping and then we'll go back to the house and cook it. Uh spam is good to spice up some reheated macaroni. When that shit's lost all flavor, throw in some spam and bam! Gone's all about the spam. Spamming it. Um, I think like we're good. Like I think that's we're gonna go into the last aisle. We'll do like a uh, a budget count because that's the only thing left to do at this point. Like this is hard. There's not much in there to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I might but outside the budget, I might grab a grape crush. Outside the budget, I might grab a grape crush because grape crushes are the bomb. Oh look at this! They have like little they have like a little dinner party out in the woods. That'd be high. Even smaller dinner party out in the woods. <laughs> And then uh, just a drinking party out in the woods. 22 shot glasses. There you go. Get hyped. Get hyped. Oh, look at that. Even better. Oh, no. Those are just the little Dixie cups. Dixie cup hype. Spam vanilla. Well, it's the only way I use to eat spam, mashed potatoes, and mix the spam right in. So much salt. So much salt. Knock stuff on the ground. I got to pick it up. Ugh. 
Here we go. Greeting cards? You never know when you're going to need that in a survival situation. Um, just bags here, yeah. Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have and then decide what we got to keep and what we got to get rid of. Look at this. Look at this perfect little, like, restore, restocking. So the tarp, that's a definite need. It's $4. $4. Somebody do the math for me here. Um, basic grub. Basic grub. We smother everything we eat with salt. Salt's hype. Salt, salt's hype. Shots, 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 shots. Two sores. What's up, Pepe? Those are some big ass shot glasses. Fox destroys dollar store. That's right. Destroy everything. Okay, so that's four. Four dollars just for the tarp, but I need the tarp for shelter. Like, what am I going to do for shelter without the tarp? Um, then you're at eight with the blanket. Like, if I take a blanket, too, that's eight dollars already. Like, that's already pretty, pretty high. And we need the rope. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. No problem. Okay, so we're going to use a different section of the cart to section off what we have here. So we just got to fix that now. Okay, so the tarp's four dollars. The blanket is four dollars. That's eight. $20 is hard to budget to make. Yeah, it is, especially nowadays. Okay, so we got $8 just in the blanket and tarp, which is just like, that's basic survival, staying warm and sheltered. Um, then to set that up. Oh. Oh, I think we froze up. F's in the chat. Don't you have a sleeping bag? Oh, there we go. We're back. We're back. Um, I don't have a sleeping bag yet. I need to go buy a sleeping bag, but that wouldn't be part of the challenge. Part of the challenge is just spending $20 at the dollar store and then going out and what you wear on your back. So if I had like my jacket, my backpack, my, glo my gloves, my boots, my pants, everything like that. But everything else needs to be like from the dollar store. So I wouldn't be able to use a sleeping bag per se. I need the rope. That's a dollar fifty. So we're up to what, nine fifty there? Yeah, sort of. Oof. Oof. Is it back yet? It looks like it's back for me. So let me know if it goes, goes back. We can still hear, okay. At least as long as you still hear, the video seemed to have frozen up there a little bit. How are batteries doing? Batteries aren't that bad. We're only at 50%. We didn't even start at 100. Um, next thing I need to have, uh, oh, it's $3. So that brings us up to $12.50. $12.50, just those four items. We need the beans too. So that's $13.50. We're at $13.50. We have $6.50 left. We need a knife. We need a knife. So question is do we take the three well we gotta go three we gotta go cheaper right we can't go with the four dollar knife at this point we got to save money so three dollars we have 350 left refresh good refresh not for me it's okay there we go okay perfect as long as it's, it's, it's okay like some people are gonna have individual problems if I see everybody dropping F's then that changes things um, I just realized you know what I can cook the beans in that can I can cook the beans in that can, and then I can use that can for other things. I can, that's the way to go, I think. Right? Yeah, that's the way. Okay, so the bowl's not needed anymore. Okay. Um, the gloves are separate altogether. I just need gloves that have the, the touch. Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll throw those back for now. This is That's not part of the challenge. Okay, so we're at, we have three fifty left. $3.50 left. Oh man, that sucks. I really wanted to bring the. Sh I really wanted to get the shovel, but it's four dollars, and I'm fifty cents short on that. I'm fifty cents short. That headlamp was three fifty. I really liked this shovel. This was like a. This is. I'm probably gonna buy this in general, like outside the challenge. We have three fifty left, and nothing else in the cart. No two dollar knives. No, no, no. No, plus I, I want to be... Pass on the blanket, you're getting a sleeping bag. Yeah, but I can't take the sleeping bag on the challenge. That's the thing. The whole point of the challenge is to not take that kind of stuff with you. Right? It's just like the clothes on your back kind of thing. Not this go, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, the part, of the, part of the challenge is like you got to use everything. So we're, we're technically... Like with the exception of like your clothes, like your gloves, your hat, your jacket, your pants, your boots socks things like that that's that's basic stuff but then other stuff you need to just take as whatever you can get from the dollar store you can't take like a tent or a sleeping bag things like that are not allowed um we have 350 we have three dollars and fifty cents i feel like we'd be doing ourselves 
an injustice not to spend that. Like, in no jokes, I feel like we'd really be hurting ourselves if we didn't take full advantage of that. But we need to find something. I don't need a cooling towel. I don't need an air pump. Let's go back to the uh, camping section. See if we can find something for 350. Need about 350. We get a gnome. Garden gnomes, anyone? <gasps> we get fake grass, guys. Fake grass. Cook cakes. <laughs> um. Cupcakes, cupcakes. What's up, Janad Fifty Two? How you doing today? Uh, plus, he has uh, to open the can of beans, so he needs the better nut. That better knife. That's true. That's true. Things is gonna be rough. Yep. Cook capes. I was thinking that, DW. Exactly. That, like that, this knife will definitely be better for opening the can. I just got to be careful about how I do it. That's all. F for sound. What? Oh, no sound? I guess we're, we're starting to get it. We're having some technical difficulties at this point, I guess. Uh, but we're an hour into the stream, so that makes a little bit of sense that we're starting to get a few. We'll see the struggle when it happens. It's probably going to be me sitting up around a uh, campfire all night trying to stay warm. But I'm basically just gonna have a like I'm gonna have to just keep a fire going all night because I'm not gonna have a proper sleeping bag. Like I've seen other people do the challenge, you know. I'm gonna flap that back around because I'm talking. I've seen a few other people do challenges like this. I've seen like one or two other people actually go out into the wilderness and test their survival kit that they bought. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should because I do have a fire steel, but technically I can't bring that. So we need to get matches. We need matches. I have dollar twenty-five candles. The thing I have fire starter and I'm gonna have fire, but you know what? It wouldn't hurt to have matches. Well, this is two dollars. You know what? I'm gonna be smart about this because let's make my life a little bit easier. Throw those in there because those are two dollars, and then I just need a dollar fifty for matches. Dollar fifty for matches, or if I get a dollar twenty-five for matches, then I can just use. So where would the matches be? Matches would be back here with the candles. Candles, matches, that makes sense, right? Right? I'm not I'm not crazy. It's good now. Or a lighter. Uh I feel like a lighter's cheap. <laughs> I feel like the lighter is easy mode. Oh. Oh, okay, well. So now we got these fire starter sticks. Oh, we got these fire starter sticks. I forgot that I had turned around the camera. So I got those, and these are made up of, um, yep, 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 click dry wood, tinder and kindling to create the base of your fire, light one end of the fire starter with a match or lighter, wait until the flame has lit about a third of the length of the stick, place the stick into the fire, wait until the flames have caught before adding more wood and kindling. And that's pretty straightforward, but that's two dollars, and we got these, which are a buck twenty-five. And they look to be about the same thing. I wonder how... I mean, if you got a match, you've got a match. So I, you know, I'm going to go with the... I'm not going to skimp on things that are going to keep me alive. <laughs> uh, but we do need matches. They don't have matches. Am I crazy? They don't, like, legitly don't have matches? We could go ask somebody. Maybe we go ask somebody if they have matches somewhere. I mean, we could grab a little lighter. I just don't feel like... I, hate, I don't want a lighter. Hmm. Where are they gonna have matches? Like they have these, I guess. These are a dollar fifty. They have these matches. The long ones. I feel like those aren't good though. Like I'd rather have getting stuff back on hooks is hard. Um Let's see if we can figure out where matches are. If we see an employee, then we can ask an employee where the matches are. Um <coughs> Someone called this Dollarama harassing them about Fox so he gets kicked out. <laughs> Use toilet paper rolls and dryer lint. Oh, there you go. Great fire. That is actually not bad. Toilet paper rolls and dryer lint. Remember the first uh, aisle you went down? Those are definitely going to break. Yeah, exactly. I don't want those. I don't want those shitty matches. Maybe back here. Let's check. just check back in this first aisle. We do have 
something to spend. What's up, fam? Um, I don't think we're... Maybe I'm doubting the matches now. I'm doubting the matches down this aisle. Until I see them. And then I'll be like, oh, no, they're there. Nope, no matches. Matches, matches, matches. Oh, nope, those are lids. Mm, don't think there's going to be matches down that aisle. Where? Oh, where? I feel like, why aren't the matches down this aisle? Wandering around, don't know what's going on. What is the plan for after the dollar ran out? I'm going to head back home. We'll look at everything that we got and then uh, probably do some gaming. Probably do some gaming. We're not, we don't have that. We have plenty of time left to do that. Um, still don't see any matches. They're way too prepared for summer right now. <clears throat> it's not enough that they have matches. Matches, please. Matches, please. Ugh. Mm, coffee, I'm that DW set. Oh, coffee, yeah, I'll definitely get some coffee before I get head back. I will go over to the uh, Tim Hortons and get some coffee. I'm gonna go for coffee. Um, matches down this? No, there's not gonna be. Let's go, let's go ask up front where the matches are. That's, I feel like that's the best way to go. Maybe matches are up at the cash? That's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe they had too many punks stealing them, and so they don't keep them. Man! That's the second time I've been in this area and just smelled mad, mad pot. Whoa! It's all I can smell right here. I feel like somebody hid marijuana somewhere around here. All I can smell. Oh, stretchy utility sta straps. Ooh. Look, he's using them with his backpack like I want to do. Oh man. I really want some of that. I don't have any at home, so. It's kind of disappointing to smell that. I know that I'm going home to nothing. And I need to reload. <laughs> reload with my dealer on stream hype. Fucking match stealers. Fox of all people recognize his pot. Of course. Look for the hidden pot. I heard spot, but he's like a bloodhound. All this shit in that store and matches his way <laughs> that lock up yet. Sip it out, Fox. I'm trying. It's definitely not there. Um, find them, folks. Asking for a hint. <laughs> um, I don't see them up front. I see lighters. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. There we go. That's me. Hey, brother. Yeah. Uh, where would I find matches? Like, matched books of matches? Uh, at the end of aisle seven. End of aisle seven? Perfect. Thanks, brother. Whoop, whoop. End of aisle seven. Okay, so I must have passed it somehow. Somehow I walked past it. I was for a hint. Hit. F. Oh no! Are we down? Oh, thank you. Sorry. Whoop. Are we down? No F. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I gotta see multiple Fs from multiple peoples. So aisle seven. There's aisle seven. Wait. This is aisle seven. Okay, let's just check it out. We'll check it out. Maybe this is aisle seven. There's somebody down here. We can ask them. If this is aisle seven, I think this is aisle seven. I'm sure, the next one over is eight. That would make sense, right? At the end of aisle seven, we should find matches. I, I feel like that's not the case. Okay, so I, I'm probably just, I'm probably just a doorknob, and I went down aisle eight instead of seven. Oh, okay, I get it now. I'm there. I'm there. Caught up. So matches should be somewhere in aisle seven. Which we are in now. Okay, I'm gonna switch you guys into helping me out mode, and let me know if you see matches anywhere. I do not see matches anywhere. 
I mean, they got swords, but not but, but lighters up front. Yeah. <laughs> Check the end cap. Oh, the end cap. Okay, 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 okay. Let me go. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave the cart there. I feel like nobody's gonna steal my cart. Oh. Ha ha ha. GGs. Um. 250. These are like eight little boxes. Um. Let's go with the eight little boxes, right? That's that's the way to go. Eight little boxes. There we go. That's what we're going with. So that brings us up to. $25, so it's 320, so we're 25 cents short. We're not gonna be able to find something for 25 cents. So that ends it right there. We are there. Oh wait. So we need to put back some stuffs. Ah, I'm falling. So need to put back these candles. Candles go right there. Boom. Um we got you folks. Uh you're there in spirit coat. That's right. <laughs> That's where we all. It's the whole beauty of it is I take you guys with me everywhere now. We just go everywhere together. Um, what do we got? We got to return the knife, the shovel, and the bowl. So the knife and the bowl go over here. That's a nice easy one. Because remember, we're gonna cook in the can. We're gonna use the can. We're gonna try and like double up our uses for things. Ooh, one-handed bowl swipes. I'll put back this jumbo cleaver. We don't need it. Um, and then the shovel needs to go back. The fire stars we are keeping. We'll do one more count just to make sure we're not. I'm pretty sure we're keeping the fire stars. The only thing left to put back is that shovel, which I will probably come back for when I'm not doing a $20 challenge. Um, and the shovel goes in the camping area. That shovel was a hype find, though. I'm pretty stoked on that, actually. Pretty stoked on that shovel. Like, that's a pretty cool little shovel pack. Now, where was it? Oh, right here, right here. There we go. And everything as it was before we came through. <laughs> Fox taking jobs. I expect nothing less from a good guy, Fox. Yeah, of course I am. Canadian. <laughs> Here we go. We put everything back now. We put everything back and we've just got our stuff. We'll do one final count just to make sure we're not over that $20 mark. Let's go right here. And we're doing final counts now. Final counts. So two, five. Okay, so two, five, eight. Trying to find single numbers. Twelve. Thirteen fifty. Seventeen fifty. Eighteen fifty. 1975. There it is. You saw it. All coming down. What's up? It's everything we need right there. Beauty. Candy! If you're one of those people that dump it in all in the end, screw you. <laughs> yeah, God knows what's up. Is that that random purple visor that is? Oh, yeah, I threw the, I threw the visor back on the shelf. That's true. That's very true. Candy. We'll get, I gotta get candy later on. Um... It's a pine in the ass for retail workers. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass for retail workers. Yeah, for sure. Towards my job. Okay, I'm gonna hook you guys back up. Hook you guys back up onto the FPS. FPS, first person. There we go. FP, no FPS. Oh, we should get the AR gaming gun. We should do a live stream of the AR gaming gun. What's up? Oh, that's a case. Do they have like batteries here? Oh, they do. They have the cheap ones though. They're not that good. They're like 3,000 ma. I'm not gonna lie. They have a little folding camping knife there that looks pretty nice. Um, we show that painty W. Once again, I'm in the minority. <laughs> I actually like having stuff to do, like we're reorganizing. Cat likes to stay busy. I always like to stay on top of things and busy. There's definitely things I want to come back and buy when I'm not doing the $20 challenge. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that on the back wall, that knife. That's actually not a bad little folding knife as far as 
having a folding knife goes. Brandon bombs away. What's up, dude? How you doing, brother? I don't have to do a uh, Dermot like hanging around with the downstairs people. <laughs> now the end of the night. Oh, the truth. The end of the night's not good. But we're midday. Is my interest fast without it? Yeah, I'm not a big stander around it either. Night was the only time I despised it. I couldn't go home till everything looked good. Hi, how you doing? Oh, yes, please, back. Here we go. Here we go. It's a little bit better. I don't want you guys to see my bank card. Are you doing an aerial stream today? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we just did a $20 uh, challenge for survival challenge. We're going to take this stuff out into the wilderness and try and survive overnight. Good old talking pin the past tense. Yeah, I don't work retail right now, guys, so it's past. Everybody moves on from retail. Uh, debit? Oh, you guys can't see the total. There you go. Now you can see the total. Remember, taxes don't count. Perfect, thank you. Have a great night. All right, and we're off. Like, I'm so overheated right now, though. Like, I'm not even gonna, not even doing up my jacket. That's how overheated I am right now. Um, everybody moves on from retail. Low. No retail uh, for me anymore. I don't, I don't do people. I don't people either. <laughs> no immune system, no care. Plus people annoying. That's more my truth. <laughs> people can get pretty annoying. Okay, so that was, so 22 after taxes, but I mean, that's, taxes don't count. We only spent 1975, so that's pretty good. Nope, that's why I'm getting less chat. More of my truth, you just don't care about the cashier. You heard us retail workers in the Soul Fox. What, what did I, what did I care about the cashier? What do you mean? What did I do with the cashier? What about the cashier? What did I do wrong with the cashier now? Shit, snow, I gotta put my hood up. Put my hood up. Are you talking to somebody who just went and put back everything that they didn't buy in their correct place? How am I, how am I sick? Dude, do I don't know what I did wrong with the cashier. I didn't mean to. I was trying to be polite and nice. Are you saying I should have ignored you guys and talked to the cashier instead? Um, I'd be waiting, wanting to die if someone came to my register calling me. <laughs> I'm sure he's planning on coming back to play some games as well. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Shit's awkward. Yes, it is. But I need to go get coffee first. Coffee first and then we'll go, actually speaking of which, since I need to cross the street anyways to get to the coffee place, we'll cross the street here while we're waiting. And then we'll wait at the lights to cross in another place. I'm wondering if the signal is better when I, I'm guessing the signal's better when I'm outside, but it seemed okay inside there. Filming more till it <laughs> talking to the phone, yeah. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. She seemed to be okay with it though. Well, that's why I turned it around at first, but then I wanted to show you guys the title, and I can't show you guys the, the total. Sorry, the title. I want to show you guys the total, and I can't show you guys the total without showing the person, so I'm sure she's fine. It's like all these people are being recorded, technically. Well, not recorded, because it's not really recording. It's just streaming it. There and gone. There and gone. Because I don't know, like, I don't know if I'm going to upload the IRLs to YouTube. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but the putting stuff back got you karma points, you're good, Fox. <laughs> no worse than the customers talking on their phones, ignoring you. My Lord, Fox, we have to seem okay about everything. I get people shouting at me daily, doesn't mean I can start shouting back. Yes, you can. You just might lose your job. Not true. It's your right to tell them to go not film you. That's true. If you tell them not to film you, 
Though if you're in a public place, in a store it's different. I don't know the exact rules within a store, but like in this parking lot, nobody can be like, oh, you gotta turn that off, you can't film me. It's, it's a public place. Like at the park, um, like town square kind of thing, whatever you want to call it. Like those are all public places and you're allowed to film freely. And uh, I mean, if you're doing like a big motion picture thing, you need to get permits and shit like that. But I'm talking about like just like filming in general, like what I'm doing right now. I'm not doing big motion pictures, shutting down traffic and shit like that. Shutting down walkways. I'm just like kind of walking around myself. So I don't need to worry about it. But yeah. Yeah, store policy is different too. Some don't want you filming at all. That's true. That's true. Uh, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. It doesn't seem worth it when it's just cashing out. can still be uncomfortable with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I understand. Get that. That's why I turned it away at first. But then I wanted you guys to see the total. So I'm sure she didn't mind. I'm sure she didn't mind. Plus, if I'm going to do this more often, they're going to have to get used to it. I know she works there all the time. So it's not the first time I've seen her there. Yep, like Walmart. <sighs> Walmart does have, like, it's weird with Walmart. Like, they're fine with it as long as you don't get caught. <laughs> Which I guess is most things, right? Every, with most things, you, everybody's fine with it as long as you don't get caught. <laughs> as long as you don't get caught, nobody's the wiser. Uh, I've seen IRL streamers get chewed out for streaming someone, yeah. That's true, that's true. But I mean, it's very simple to ask. I mean, I'm fairly respectful as far as that goes, so I'd probably just say, okay, no problem. I'd rather just turn the camera back onto me and do it like selfie mode. I'd just go into selfie mode, that's all. Oh, okay. Coffee time. Coffee, coffee, coffee time. Coffee time is coming, that's right, we're here. Coffee. Pizza, I wish I could have pizza. Wish I could have some pizza right now. Oh. I'm dying of heat exhaustion right now, fam. That's for sure. I saw that pizza too. The yeah, Panagos is pretty decent, actually. Even with their gluten-free crust, it's pretty decent. Compared to like some other places. Like Pizza Pizza has cauliflower crust. It's not that good. Pizza would be amazing, Brandon. Pizza would be amazing, dude. I got money for pizza. I bought poutine the other night and it's expensive to eat poutine. Like I got like good, we got like good poutine. It's so ridiculously overpriced. <coughs> Delicious, but overpriced. And that's what's up. Next in line. Ooh, look at the donut case. Mmm, donuts. Mmm, delicious donuts. How you doing? Can I get two extra large triple triple? Um, debit? And then there's a lineup to get in the lineup. There's a lineup to get the food. One and done. Okay, what do we got going on? You making me hungry? You didn't need that fan? <laughs> I wanted it, I wanted it, didn't need it. Didn't need it so much. Folks familiar little donuts, poutine? That order follow, flowed from his mouth so smoothly? Oh yeah, definitely. Coffee? I know my coffee order. I know most of my orders in general as far as that goes. Oh, I thought that was mine, but it's not. I thought it was mine, but it's not. Uh, the order flo uh, I'm the dude that stands there for a minute to client deciding. I'll, I, I, I usually know what I'm doing right off the bat. I don't like to stand there deciding. I don't like to stand there like forever deciding and just figuring out what I'm doing. It's so, so good and unhealthy. <laughs> you're, the, you're the person that I'm like in my head screaming at when I'm standing behind you. I'm like, just decide something. Pick something for fuck's sakes. It's donuts and coffee, pick one. <laughs> Do the employees here don't even ask for us for our order until regularly? That's true, that's true. That's very true. It's so, so good and unhealthy. Stop shaming me, Fox. <laughs> I'm gonna shame you. Be ashamed. 
Keep in mind that when you're standing there doing that, everybody behind you in the line is just freaking out. They were wishing you were dead. Oh, thank you very much. Have a good day. And we're off. Coffee in hand, coffee in tow. You guys get the coffee view. Oh, back outside where it's nice. Um, oh, did you see that dude smile when you were talking about how people should just pick something? <laughs> no, I didn't. I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> he, probably, he probably knew. He knew exactly what was up. He knew exactly what was up. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh my God. I, I'm not going to lie. I do want to be out in this more. Like, I love this weather. Maybe, like, I know I'm crazy. I know I'm like, I'm, an, I'm definitely a minority in this one. But I absolutely love this weather and I love being out in it. Just like nice to be out in this weather. It's, it's not cold out at all. The snow is nice. Catch a few snowflakes on your tongue. Eh. Um, it was the best. It's hard, Fox. Every single coffee shop has different <laughs> retarded names for size and stuff like grande. Is it large? Yeah, but what happens when you just say large? Like, I get what you're saying, because like, you go to Starbucks and the whole, everything changes to like Vente and Grande. <laughs> if you see the movie Role Models, that scene where he's freaking out about the venti. <laughs> oh, that after he freaks out on the employee about the venti, like his wife's like, you're a jackass. Venti means 20 in Italian, dick. <laughs> so there's not Tim Hortons. Yeah, it's just straight up normal sizes. Not trying to be special. Not trying to be something they're not. Tim Hortons knows that they're a coffee shop. No, they don't. That's not true. They got finger sandwiches flying around. All sorts of shit they don't need to be serving. It's actually funny because it's like Tim Hortons used to be like coffee and donuts, much like Dunkin' Donuts. It's just coffee and donuts. And McDonald's used to be just like fast food, burgers, fries, nuggets, things like that. And now McDonald's is trying to sell coffee and Tim Hortons is trying to sell fast food. And I just like, I don't see why they need to do both. Why can't one do one really good and the other do the other really good and they can both just have a good time. Why is everything gotta be everything nowadays? I don't really get it. I'm old though, so. Um, I'm mad but annoyed. <laughs> Not mad but annoyed, I get you, I get you. I know what you're talking about. They're doing that get coffee snoots. You mean medium? <laughs> I'm just trying to adjust to their system and that's why I take them to this side. Leave me alone. <laughs> Oh, their constant sandwiches at Tim's are the best. So fucking tasty. Yep, businesses should just stick to what they're good at, good for. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. I wish I could buzz myself in. We're in auto doors. So it's up when you're carrying stuff. Oh, gotta get here before this comes up from the basement. Get to the elevator, press the elevator button. Time to docks. <laughs> I mean, my address is already well known, I thought. I've never tried to hide it, so. Stream, don't fuck up IP now. Fifth or ninth floor. <laughs> oh, definitely. Definitely do. Uh, that's a lot of floors. Yeah, it's not that many. It's only 18. If you're wondering, like, it's 18, it's 19, because there's a penthouse there. No, because 13th floor isn't on there because people are retarded. Boom. It's only 18 floors, it's not that many. 
can't believe you guys can still have signal right now. That's pretty hype. Counting is hard. Well, it's just more like if you look at it, notice what there's something missing. The 13. The 13 is missing. Because people are like, superstition, we can't have a 13th floor, people will die. But the people on the 14th floor, they know where they are. They're on the 13th floor. All them people on the 14th floor, they're actually on the 13th floor. <laughs> uh, most elevators actually, DW, don't have 13, a 13th floor. They skip 13 because of superstition. That's an actual fact. Something that happens. Yeah, it's their 13th floor. I would request it if I could live in a room on it. <laughs> you know, most, uh, most elevators don't have a 13th floor. Newer ones might. Newer ones that were built by atheists and people who aren't stupid. Um, but yeah, there's 13th floor, superstition, people don't have it up there. Whoop. I'm out of hands. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I'm in. Coffee dropped off. Unhook this. Whew. Switch it back around. My dirty kitchen. And my dirty ceiling. Oh, it's kind of hot in these rhinos. Jesus. Whoopsie. Oh, I forgot that was on there. Oh. <laughs> we have a third, oh really? In Canada, maybe not. I know in most, most elevators in the States, you must have newer elevators. If they're newer, they stay, um, if the elevators are newer, they have a 13th floor. If they're older elevators, they don't have the 13th floor because they're from a time when we were more superstitious about things. And now we've kind of smartened up and added like 13th floors <sighs> on the elevators as it should be because why are we skipping numbers? I don't understand why. Why is 13 an unlucky number? Whoop, 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 whoop. Get coffee. And then. Okay. Hey, there I am on the screen. I can see myself. Haha, -ha, we back. There's part of me that wants to go back out. I'm not going to lie, but I'm almost at a battery. So uh, give me one second. I'm going to switch over to the other, over to the computer. Pause this, go over here, bring this back up. Um, so I think if I go, I'll be right back guys. Hold on, hold, be with me, stay with me, stay with me. Pop up. <laughs> 